Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name's Layla, and we're gonna be doing a clock activity with Arabic numbers. You will need the PDF printout of the clock activity, which I will tell you where to get at the end. Some colors, could be markers, crayons, colored pencils, really anything. Some scissors, a paper plate or an eight inch circle, uh, eight inch or larger, um, some glue and a pokey stick, something to make a hole with, and a brass fastener, you just need one and some cardstock for the arrows if you want something a bit more sturdy. So we're gonna start coloring, and I like to highlight the three, the six, the nine, and the 12. That's thalatha, sitte, tisa, or ethnash. And those are the ones that you see me coloring in right now. And then the other ones just go crazy. Um, and you don't have to do it this way, you can color them any way you want. And then there's the centerpiece that you can color in. And once that's all colored or you're satisfied, you can start cutting uh, out all those pieces. And then for the arrows, you can either use, um, if you print it on cardstock, great, or you can take um, the paper that you have and trace it onto a thicker, more sturdier paper like that and cut it out. And now that you have all your pieces, you are ready to glue them onto your paper plate or circle to make a clock. I pulled out thaletha, sitte, tisa, and ithnosh. Um, so from left to right, three, seven, uh, six, nine, and 12. Yes, the six looks like a seven. And so I like to put those in the quarters. So you go ahead and glue those into place, starting with thaletha, sitte, tisa, and ithnosh. So you have your 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. And then you can go to town putting in those other pieces. It makes it a lot easier to get them in place. So we have Wahad, Tinein, Talat is already on there, Arba, Khamse, oh gosh, I don't know which way to put it. You decide, <laughs> Sitte. It's already on there. Saba. Tamanye or Tamanye. Still can't decide which way they should go. <laughs> Tisa is already on there. Ashara. Hadash and Itnash at the top. And then you can glue on your centerpiece right there in the middle. Then you want to grab something sharp. Um, and I like to get uh, something to sort of stabilize the paper and you just poke a hole right in the middle and then grab your arrows and make a hole through those right in the center. And after that, you'll grab your um, fastener, stick it in the middle and voila, you have your clock with Arabic numbers. I hope you enjoyed this activity today. You can find this and more on my website, arabishway.com. Just click on treasure chest and activities and you'll see a whole bunch, this activity and a whole bunch of other ones there. Thanks, have a great day.